And now back to one of our top stories where Iran has rejected a step-for-step -step proposal to revive the 2015 nuclear deal since it failed to suit uh, Iran's policies. Now, according to a Press TV probe, proposal was offered through lobbying efforts inside the new U.S. administration and followed up by uh, Europe. The investigation found that Washington Tehran to the negotiation table to get more concessions by releasing a limited amount of uh, frozen Iranian assets. The Iranian leader, though, said uh, he asserted the U.S. must practically lift all sanctions if it wants for Iran to return back to full compliance under the accord. Joining us now out of Ontario for more on the story is Jason Unruhe, political commentator. Hello, Jason. Hope you're safe and doing well out there. Uh, your thoughts on, uh, you know, this development. We found this out and uh, you're thoughts on uh, Washington's position on this and Iran's in the, throughout this impasse? Well, I mean, this is kind of an ongoing problem that's not being acknowledged by either the United States, the European signatories, or the mainstream media in general. Iran has made it very clear that they are willing to return to the agreement with uh, no alterations to it if all of the sanctions and uh, freezing of banking assets that, take, that took place under the Trump administration were removed. Those were put on unjustly. Those were, those were put on without uh, any evidence of Iran's alleged un, um, uh, wrongdoing during the agreement. But that's, that's, that's the problem here. Iran has already said, we can go back to square one where we already were, we had an agreement that was working, but the United States, or particularly the Biden administration, seems to be continuing the changes that the Trump administration had made. They have played these banking sanctions with, uh, with, with a false pretext of doing so. Now, the United States is turning around telling the He's telling the mainstream media that Iran is refusing to cooperate. It's coming up with uh, new conditions that uh, Iran has to meet a new uh, almost tit-for-tat kind of deal in order to have a resuming agreement. When that agreement is supposed to still be in place right now, the, the current administration of the mainstream media is not ad admitting what it is that Donald Trump did to sabotage the agreement. They will criticize him by saying that he did, but they're not acknowledging that it's that those things are being continued under the Biden administration. And that's what's very frustrating in this situation is they're not making that acknowledgement. They're doing so being uh, being dishonest in order to pressure Iran to accept a new kind of deal. Right, Jay. And the thing is, the small concessions that Washington is willing to, you know, basically extend right now to try to get Iran back to the negotiation table, uh, they still don't do anything as far as building confidence. I mean, what happened with the May 2018 pullout was a huge breach of the contract. And, uh, you know, the Biden administration, uh, Joe uh, Biden himself, that time, along with Democrats, lambasted Trump and his team for doing that, for opting out of an accord that took almost a dozen years to try to put together between multiple parties and uh, they, they, they condemned the heck out of it. And now here's an opportunity to try to build some trust, build some goodwill. And we're just not seeing that. Why? Well, frankly, because there is no goodwill when it comes to the United States. But on a, a, a more practical level, what we have is the U.S. in violation great deal of uh, uh, bank seizings and sanctions, mm. and then offers the release of a tiny little crumb to return to a deal that the United States is already in violation with. I mean, this is very typical from the way that we've seen the United States operate. Uh, we saw this with uh, one the, you know, the, the famous deal between Israel and Palestine. They gave Palestine a deal that in no way in their right mind would they actually take and then turn around and claim that, well, we tried to create peace, but they didn't want. I mean, the United States is pulling the same kind of trick here.